So what brands come to mind when you think about race gloves for the track? On one hand, I have Alpine Stars, and on the other hand, I have Dainese. Here we have the Alpine Stars GP Pro R2, which is the predecessor to the current R3. These gloves are made of a mixture of cowhide and goatskin, and the palm is made of a very light kangaroo leather. Alpine Stars uses its dynamic friction shield on the knuckles, made of dual density polymer for greater protection against impacts. One thing I like about these gloves is that the pinky and the ring finger are bridged together in order to limit torsion and separation during a crash. The palm does have a very nice design and construction. You do get a plastic palm slider, you get Kevlar inner lining, and you do have a hardened wrist strap which will protect your carpal bones from injury. And here is the crowd favorite, the Dainese Steel Pro Gloves. So Dainese has a goatskin leather construction to include the palm area. All right, and to limit your pinky finger from torsion and injury, Dainese is doing a little bit different from Alpine Stars. They're using their distortion control system, and you'll see a little plastic pad there, sort of near the knuckle of the pinky finger with little tiny plastic pieces that run up the finger. All right, and the reason why these gloves are called Steel Pros is because Dainese is using stainless steel and thermal plastic resin on the knuckles and the back of the hand for protection. Now, the palm of these gloves look really good compared to the Alpine Stars, in my opinion. You do also have a nice plastic palm slider there, as you can see, and you do get a reinforced hardened wrist strap as well to protect your skin and those bones from injury. All right, so both gloves are CE Category 2 certified with Dainese being at level one and Alpine Stars being at level two. Now, as far as comfort goes, I'm gonna give it to Dainese just because it feels more comfortable and more premium on the inside, while Alpine Stars feels a little rough at first and it's really tight, um, but I think that it forms to your hand a lot better. Now, as far as sizing goes, um, Alpine Stars is probably gonna be more true to size. I typically wear an extra large, while Dainese, I did have to size down to a size large. So if you've been looking to pick up some of these gloves or you already own a pair, go ahead and leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one.